Chapter 12, Rock Weasels. Rather than confront Josh, I crawled into my tent, <clears throat> wrapping myself in my sleeping bag and fell asleep. I know what you're thinking, chicken. Maybe you're right. What was I going to say? I will not be used, Father. Or how about this? Send me back to New York so I can do my time. Take that, Dad. Besides, I needed some sleep before I talked to him. Walking around at 18,000 feet wears you down. And it turned out I didn't have to find him because he found me. You awake, he asked. Yeah, I said. Although I hadn't been until he stuck his head into my tent. He crawled in and zipped the flask closed. Did you get a chance to look around camp? A little. There's a lot of competition for your company up here. You noticed, huh? Next year, there won't be so many commercial operations. There's only a finite number of people who have the money, time, and desire to get up this mountain. This will be the last year for a lot of the operations. Including peak experience, I asked. He grinned. Your mom told me that you're smart, he said. I guess you got that from her. Flattery has never worked on me. So how much trouble are you in? Like the judge said, I look good on paper, but the truth is I'm in debt up to my crevasse. Humor, on the other hand, always worked on me, I laughed. If we have a good season this year, he continued, we might be able to recoup some of our losses next year. It's all riding on how many people we get to the summit in the next few weeks and how much publicity we get. Which is why I'm here, I said. He gave me a sheepish look. Not entirely, he said, but yeah, that's one of the reasons. Uh, that's the main reason, I thought. Might as well get it over with. If I had been 15, would you have come to New York? He hesitated and then said, probably not. I was right in the middle of leading a group of amateur climbers to Everest. I would have liked a lot better if he had come to New York to save me because I was in trouble, <laughs> not because he was in trouble. The youngest American to top Mount Everest are a couple of 20 year olds, he explained. So your being 15 might have worked, but truthfully, getting a 14 year old there has a lot more sex appeal, especially after your climb in New York. There are a lot of celebrities climbing this year, a couple of rockers, an actor, a football player. There are seven documentary and TV crews on this side of the mountain alone. And just as many, if not more on the south side. So when we tried to get the media interested in your, our climb, there was no takers. Without publicity, we're circling the drain. Your skyscraper stunt was beamed all over the world. I knew about it before your mom called and asked if I could help out. Someone in our Chiang Mai office saw it on TV, figured out the connection and called up here suggesting we try to put you on top. At first I told them no way, but then your mom called and I thought I could take care of your problem and mine at the same time. Did you talk to mom about what we're doing? Yeah, before I left Kathmandu. What did you tell her? I told her I was going to take you on a climb, but I didn't tell her where. She's not gonna like it when she finds out. Mm, don't be so sure. She may not climb anymore, but she understand what it's all about. That's why she lets you go to those climbing camps. She knows that I might risk my own life to the summit, but I would never risk anyone else's, especially my own sons to get to the top of a mountain. What's going to make her mad is you're not telling her beforehand. You're probably right. But the reason I didn't tell her is we can't let this out until you're back down. What about the film crew? They're not going to say anything. We're paying them. They work for us. What about Holly Angelo? He gave a deep, foggy sigh. It was cold in the tent. Blackmail, he said. Or what amounts to it anyway? Somehow she figured it out. I think she might have a line to Dr. Wu. And by the way, if you had flunked the physical, I wouldn't have brought you up here, period. I would have sent you to Chiang Mai, and I did enroll you in the international school there. Anyway, Holly called me here last week and said that she was going to print a story about your Everest attempt unless I gave her an exclusive. And now she wants to climb the mountain herself? Yeah, and it looks like I'm going to have to give her a shot. Otherwise, she's going to start filing reports as soon as she gets up here. Why do we have to keep it quiet? Because of the Chinese, he said. There's no age limit on this side of the mountain. But if they find out we're trying to put a 14-year-old on the top, they might pull our climbing permit. They've been trying to get a teenager to the summit for years. They wouldn't be too happy if an American te teenager topped it before their own. 
he let out a harsh laugh. Politics, publicity, and advertising. Sponsorships, endorsements. Climbing has really gone downhill. I can't tell you how much I risk, miss our rock rat days when we showed up at the base of a wall with a bag of trail mix, a bottle of water, and an old rope. We're rock weasels now, and it's never going to be the same. Josh! A high-pitched scream pierced the cold mountain air. That would be Holly. You know her voice. I haven't heard it in about 15 years, but I'd recognize it anywhere, kind of like fingernails scraping on a chalkboard. Josh! And we both winced. Holly was on the circuit writing freelance articles when your mom and I were climbing. She actually, actually wrote a couple good pieces about us. She climbed too, kind of. He shook his head. It was a scary thing to wash. Josh! So I'll take you to the top, Josh said. But only if I can do it without killing you. If you make it, you'll be famous. And you'll help your old man live in comfort for the rest of his life. My plan is to sell the business in a few years and retire on the proceeds. Are we square? I wasn't sure about the famous part, and I wasn't happy about his reason for bringing me to Everest. But I did want to get to the top. We're square, I said, but no more caginess. I want to know what's going on. It's a deal. He stuck out his gloved hand and we shook. Josh! He unzipped the flap and peeked out. We'd better go and say hello before she causes an avalanche. <laughs>